Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Trauma Center's Second Opinion. So, last time, our boy Derek got his shit together and found out he has superpowers. I mean, I don't think he's quite cognitively aware of that yet, but that's a thing. <laughs> but at the same time, there's this parallel storyline going on with another protagonist in the Z missions. So let's check that out. Overseas. St. Francis Hospital, conference room. The patient, Alan Chambers, is suffering a caminate. Caminate. I did study EMT, I should know this. Caminuted fracture in his right forearm. He was rushed here as soon as the injury occurred, thanks to a nurse who witnessed it. Judging by the x ray, this one could give us some trouble. But I'm sure Dr. Weaver will be able to fix him up, good as new. I appreciate the confidence, but you know this is no big deal. I haven't let a patient down yet, have I? Nozomi Weaver, age 29, a Japanese surgeon who came to America on an exchange program. Since transferring from her original hospital in Okinawa, she's gained quite a reputation. Alan Chambers, isn't he a famous screenwriter? Think it's the same guy? It would certainly explain the media circus gathering outside. Hey, maybe they'll want to interview us. Or Dr. Weaver, anyway. She's probably the most photogenic doctor here, damn straight. I definitely don't need that kind of attention. If they're looking for a press conference, the head surgeon is welcome to take my place. You're too modest, Dr. Weaver. She's really put our hospital on the map, though. We have patients coming from all over. I'd say that exchange program was the best thing to happen to St. Francis. I'm surprised your hospital was willing to let you go, doctor. You're giving me too much credit. I haven't even been here for a full year. We're getting a little sidetracked, I think. Let's proceed with the operation. Good luck, Dr. Weaver. I don't need luck. I make my own luck. With a luck machine. Now I just need to avoid unnecessary media attention. I still can't believe they want me operating out in the open like this. Didn't they learn their lesson in Okinawa? Hmm. Communicated fracture in patient's radius bone. There also seems to be internal hemorrhaging. Treat bleeding, then rebuild the broken bone. Let's see, time of dictation, 3.48 p.m. The patient's name is Alan Chambers. He has a serious fracture in his right arm. As for the x-ray results, fragments of the bone seem to be scattered and I see hemorrhaging. That said, I will be approaching this operation with three objectives. Collect fragments of his radius and ulna, set the radius properly for healing, Return the fragments to their original location and rebuild the patient's radius and ulna. She gives herself her debriefing. She doesn't need... <laughs> Derek, come on. You should know this ahead of time. I anticipate a smooth proceed. I'm starting the operation. It's time to get started. Here we go. Let's begin. I should have life juiced first, but I can still. Hmm. Oh. Careful now. Darn it. Next, leave it I to see. me. And you can inject this anywhere, even in the sheet, even off screen. Okay, but focus now. Now I'll return these fragments to their original positions in order to rebuild his arm. Wait a minute. It looks like its ulna is twisted in the wrong direction. I'll use my forceps to move it back into place. With that out of the way, yeah I get so shaky with this. With that out of the way, I should be able to move the bone fragments where they belong. Might need to rotate the pieces before they'll fit properly. With the Wiimote for example. Yeah, gotta rotate the Wiimote and... Oh, that's not right! Oops. Sorry. Yeah, this one isn't particularly hard, but it does require a lot of patience. Sometimes you do just need to do the operation a couple times over to make sure you know what bones go where, and I've already forgotten. <sighs> this could take a few. Damn it. Okay, what?
hate this. I do hate this one. Uh, I used to be able to get it like lightning, but it's been so long I forgot everything. Every single detail I should know. Failure of a doctor. There we go. Something isn't right. I thought I found all the fragments, but the radius still isn't connecting properly. There's probably still a fragment I haven't found yet. If I use the ultrasound, I should be able to find it. There we go. That's good. That seems to be all of them. I should apply some antibiotic gel to make sure the area is healing properly. I am gonna get crap score for this, but at least he didn't die. The radius bone has been reformed. I anticipate a quick recovery. Now I'll be suturing my incision. Operation complete. Yep. <laughs> you never get lower than a C. St. <laughs> Francis Hospital, conference room. I suppose D and F are the patient is dead. F if you did poorly, D if you did well, but still there. <laughs> Another amazing operation, Dr. Weaver. I think we all learned a thing or two. <laughs> well then, if you'll excuse me. See you tomorrow. Interesting. I always thought American doctors were more concerned about golf than their patients. I'm gonna just let you keep thinking that. <laughs> but everyone here is so kind. They accepted me as one of their own immediately. Only because they don't know the truth. And what is the truth? Hmm? A phone call? Oh, it's them. This is Weaver. A procedure on Sunday? It's kind of sudden, don't you think? <sighs> Not that I can refuse or anything. Yeah, I'll be there. Interesting. We have things we need to learn about you. But for right now, it's time to get back to the poster boy. Dormant ability. What the heck happened during that last operation? It almost felt like time was slowing down. Am I losing it? I knew exactly what needed to be done, but I'm not sure how I knew that. Ugh, now I'm just talking in circles. I need to sit down and figure... Derek! Pay attention! Huh? I mean, I was! Stop daydreaming and start taking your job seriously. I'm sorry. We need to have a meeting about Mr. Pratt's operation. Angie, can you handle prep for that? Yes, of course, Doctor. Multiple thrombi present due to waste blockage. Immediate removal is required to prevent further complications. Let's go over the procedure for Mr. Pratt's operation. He's been suffering from dizziness and nausea recently. Tests show that wastes accumulated in his spleen and are now blocking blood vessels there. Today's objective is to remove the buildup of thrombi. The contrast medium was administered 30 minutes ago in IV. Because of that, you should be able to find the waste material using ultrasound. Once it shows a shadow, try clipping near that area with the forceps. It should stop moving. Make your incision, then drain the area. This is a sensitive operation, so you'll need to make proper use of magnification. Remember, the objective is, remove all thrombi in the vessels. That is all. If further waste blockage occurs, the patient's vitals will drop. Remember to stay calm and keep it steady. Let's begin the operation. Let's... He said it. Oh, crap. My wrist strap came off. Oh well. I'm in bed. I don't anticipate throwing Let's my controller. Begin. I am in control. Alright. Here goes. Doctor! The thrombi causing the vessel blockage are originating here. Work carefully. Magnification successful. Please continue. Doctor. Right. There. Then force it. Drain the area. Treatment complete. Proceed as normal. Doctor! And now they start coming crazy. The, the change in blood flow is causing the suspended thrombi to move too. Concentrate. 
I won't be able to get them all. But then, everything's slowing down! I did it again! Doctor, what just? N no thrombi detected. Treatment is complete. I'm having an off day today. Sorry. Nice work, Doctor Styles. Amazing work, Doctor Styles. That was impressive. Stop! You keep stopping time. It's like weird. <laughs> Zawaldo. <laughs> okay. Boom. That's what I like to see. You might actually be a pretty good surgeon, Dr. Styles. Huh? You were practically a different person in there. Just like yesterday. Come to think of it, it did kind of feel like I was someone else. Like I wasn't freaking out and shitting myself. <laughs> if you were always that focused in the OR, I wouldn't have to worry as much. So you worry about me? I definitely worry about your patients. Burn. Uh... <laughs> Angie, I'd like to review the footage of today's operation. Of course, sir. I'll bring it to you later. If we're right, then we should be able to tell from watching the tape. This is in his head. He knows. He totally knows. <laughs> Master's surgery. Cutscene. I wish I could take a drink, but I need a voice. Yeah, just a quick one. I called you here today to warn you about something. Dr. Casal tells me you may have shown potential for the healing touch. Healing touch? You don't know? No. Doctors with the healing touch can cure incurable diseases. They can even save patients who come within an inch of death. I don't know how long this gift has existed, but the Greeks believed such doctors were descendants of Asclepius. You mean the god of medicine? Me? Those with the healing touch have certain special qualities. The keenest judgment, unbreakable focus, and unmatched surgical skill. Haven't you noticed any changes during your operation? Well, sometimes it starts to feel like time is moving much more slowly than usual. Hmm, that must be a result of your extraordinary concentration. It definitely marks you as capable of the healing touch. So I have all those powers? You need to forget about them. Those things are unnecessary. What? If you pursue this, yes, you will become an unparalleled surgeon. But are you prepared for the pain that would bring you? Derek, a doctor's hands are heavy with responsibility. Patients depend on us. They put their lives in those hands of our uh, in those hands of ours. Can you imagine how heavy that burden would be with the healing touch? There aren't many doctors who could endure such a weight. I'm only telling you this for your own good. Forget about that power and be a normal doctor. You'll never be happy otherwise. For my own good! Think of it this way. Right now, you're standing at a large door knocking. If you continue to knock, that door will eventually open. But you can also turn your back on it and it would stay closed. Why not take a vacation? Get your mind off of surgery for a while. But I... Trust me, it's for your own good. <laughs> so the doc's got a reason he doesn't want us to pursue this, but he's not being very clear about it. Being very vague. But in this mission, we get to train ourselves how to activate the healing touch on command, which is so important for later operations. What's wrong, Derek? Shouldn't you be checking on your patients? Dr. Casal, do you think I should stop trying to improve as a doctor? So you spoke with Hoffman. I was hoping the news about your abilities might motivate him to start operating again. Huh? Why would it do that? Back when the director was still operating on patients, he named that skill the Healing Touch and accepted its gifts. What? He has it too? But then something happened. He hasn't operated on anyone since. All because of one mistake. 
Can you imagine how heavy that burden would be with the healing touch? There aren't many doctors who can endure such a weight. Can I really do it? Can I master the healing touch? Well, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not the one with your abilities. But I know that if you intend to use this power to help people, you need to take command of it. Take command? Yes, you can't be halfway with something like this. You know, your usual standard. <laughs> One simple mistake changed the director's entire life. He delved too far into something even he couldn't understand. I think you can learn a lot from the director's mistake. If you can't control this power, then it's going to cost you. So, do you think I can do it? Your skill seems to involve focus, so try to concentrate on that. Once you adjust, I'm sure you'll be able to make this decision for yourself. I can't fully understand the healing touch because I'm not you or Dr. Hoffman. In the end, nobody's going to be able to make this decision for you. Good luck, Derek. I need to focus on concentration. My dad always used to say I could never concentrate on anything. He told me to imagine one shape like a star or a triangle and focus on that. I'm pretty sure he just made that up, but it definitely came in handy for exams. Maybe that could help now. I'll imagine a star. I just have to relax, focus, and concentrate. So, yeah, Dr. Hoffman probably got more higher priority patients when people found out he could do the magic-y stuff. And then he got one that was too tough. But if you're confused as to why he's telling you don't use this amazing power that can help people to help people, well, this is all kind of building up into this very interesting blend of story and gameplay. This whole arc is basically telling you don't rely on the healing touch and think that will just carry you through the operation. If you don't develop your basic skills, you're still screwed. You need to use this in tandem with good practices. And I think it's just kind of great that they do that. That they basically tell you flat out, this is only gonna work if, you know, you, uh, you rise to the task. Don't just take it for granted, right? Anyway, personal training exercise. Gain focus and practice superhuman concentration for self-betterment. Okay, how should I do this? First, I'll just recall what happened during that operation. Now, I'll visualize the star. Concentrate. Concentrate. Okay, I can do We're it. Starting the operation. Let's begin the operation. It's my own heart. <laughs> Just as a representative. Healing touch. The power of Asclepius. I can do this. First, I'll recall the procedure. I'm looking at the patient. Also, we have infinite time, because it would just be unfair otherwise. Let's see, I think I tensed my index finger. Z button. Concentrate. Right, what else did I do with my hands? Tense up my other hand. It's hard to concentrate when I'm so tense. I know, maybe if I draw a star in the air. This is all, this is all wrong. Okay, no, that's not it. So basically, you hit Z and B at the same time, and use the Wiimote to draw a star in the air. Uh, and this will show you what the game considers an acceptable star. It's gotta be all straight lines, super quick. And it's gonna take many tries to nail down, but once you get on the hang of it, here we go. Hey, hey. Concentrate. One more time. And I, you don't even have to be in the outline so long as it's like starish. You'll get the hang of it with repetition. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. One more time. This is all wrong. That's it. This is it. It's exactly like before. I have the healing touch. Ah, uh, maybe I overdid it. Gave myself a headache. It's also worth noting, you can only do the healing touch once per operation. So when you do it, you gotta make it count. I think I'm getting the hang of it. 
I might be able to handle the healing touch after all. So, this is the first time that we ever manually activate the healing touch during an operation. So, it's pretty tense. It is pretty tense and like, is this the right moment? Am I doing it right? Can I handle this with the pressure of everything that's coming at me? First time I couldn't, but here we go. <clears throat> that concludes our meeting. Please review the information again on your own. We should just move on to the surgical conference now to save time. Those doctors involved, please stick around. We're starting, Doctor. Dr. Styles, pay attention! Huh? What? Uh, oh, sorry. Dude, you, you overtaxed your body with that exercise. <laughs> I guess I didn't hear you. Is everything alright? You've been staring at that x-ray for a long time. Uh, I was just going over today's operation again in my mind. Anyway, let's get the conference started, huh? He's been spacing out a lot lately. At least he's concentrating hard on something, I guess. Oh, he's probably still doing it, is the thing. Oh, man. Multiple aneurysms have formed on the surface of the large intestine. Requires sed sed sedative treatment and suturing of affected vessels. Today's patient is Mr. Kovac, who was carried in this morning. He's currently not doing very well. Tests show a number of aneurysms near his large intestine. Some of them have ruptured, and there is risk of anemia. We need to perform a laparotomy and get those aneurysms under control. The objective of this operation is treat the aneurysms on the outer membrane of the patient's large intestine. That should be all. First, inject a sedative into the swollen vessel to reduce its size. Excise the problem area and suture the vessel closed. You'll need to use magnification again to ensure your accuracy. Derek, concentrate on the patient. Don't worry about anything else. Okay. Let's begin the operation. Let's begin the operation. I don't care if it overlaps. I want to say it too. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. He's low. I should boost him before I get in there. The antihypertensive is in effect, but the aneurysm could still burst. You need to hurry, Doctor Styles. Why can't you people do this before we get in there? It only goes to eighty. Shit. No. No. <laughs> Good thing you can press a minus to skip through Let's the dialogue. The operation. <laughs> it's important to start off on the right foot. What? Let's begin. There we go. <laughs> Doctor. The lump on that vessel is the aneurysm. Try magnifying. Be careful. Well done. Now's your chance. Doctor. We have to reconnect the vessels that were cut, but there's a lot of blood. The vessel area is clear. Now perform anastomosis. Please be careful, Doctor. Good work. <sighs> there we go. The aneurysm's been treated. We can finally relax. Let's close them up now. Oh no. It's not over. Uh -huh. What, again? Every vessel in the area is in danger of becoming an aneurysm. Continue the operation, we just have to treat them all. Then four sets. Darn it! That one is actually in the way. I need to go lower. Doctor! The aneurysm has ruptured! We need to stop the bleeding! Sorry, that was my bad. No shit, it was your bad! Fix it! Well done! If that bottle hadn't gotten in my way, I would have had it. Doctor! 
focus one at a time. Just had to get them both so that they didn't engorge at the same time. Good work. I think it's settled down for the time being. We should wait a moment to be safe before we close them up. Th good this call. Isn't good. Here we go. Maybe you're a bee in there. And the healing touch only lasts that long. Fucking don't lose the sensor on this one. If you let the sensor bar drip, you can lose the patient. If you're not careful. <sighs> Handled that good. Not great, but good. I'll get better. I'll get back into practice. Right at the last second, was that the healing touch? It's incredible, but at the same time, it's a little frightening. If you're fast enough in easy mode, you can actually do that without, but I was not trusting myself right now. <laughs> if every doctor had that ability, what would the medical world be like? Uh, I'm sorry, let's close them up. Yeah, can't even get that right now. That's incredibly lax. Nice work, Dr. Styles. Yeah. I'll get better. Another operation complete. Great work, Dr. Styles. Just hit me. Yeah, I don't care. I'll get it back. So I understand you figured out how to control the healing touch. Make sure you don't rely on it too much. You need to develop your basic skills too. See? See right there. They flat out tell you. Because look. Huh? What the? I know it won't be easy, but you didn't take this job because... THUD! <laughs> Everything's going black. Derek, are you even listening? Boom! Derek, what's wrong? <laughs> so there's an in-story reason why he can't do that too much. But also, you can only do that once per mission. It's important to know. Forget about that power. But I... Are you prepared for the pain that would bring you? I became a doctor so that I could help people. And if it costs you your life, you'd give up your own happiness? I don't know. But I do know that people need my help. And I want to help them. What? Where am I? Wonder if he was talking to the ancient memory of Asclepius there. Eh. It's... The ceiling. What am I doing here? Dr. Styles! Angie, what happened? After Mr. Kovac's surgery, you just collapsed. You've been asleep for three days. Wh what? Three days? What about my patients? I have operations scheduled! Already taken care of, Derek. I called in the other doctors. But that's in the past. We need to discuss how you're going to proceed from here. Okay. Derek, I forbid you from using the healing touch like that. But why would you... That ability puts a tremendous amount of physical strain on your body. It's too risky. What if you collapsed in the middle of a procedure? But without my healing touch, Mr. Kovac might have died. Exactly. That is why you mustn't abandon the healing touch. I'd advise you to use it only when absolutely necessary. After all, you shouldn't be relying solely on the healing touch anyway. Developing your natural skills as a surgeon is far more important. Right, right there. That's what I'm saying. Cause you know, your magic, you, you think you got your magic -y power and suddenly you're hot shit? No, it's only if you put in the work that it's gonna do anything. We can't assume the healing touch was the only reason Kovac survived. If you want to help people, then focus on strengthening your natural abilities. I understand. Take it slowly. I'm sure the power inside you will find its way out. Become the best surgeon you can, and one day you'll inherit the full heritage of Asclepius. Y yes sir! So... 
what a way to introduce the mechanic. And what a way to make it feel like, you know, like it's part of the world and also coming out of the, out of the scream at, at the same time. Like, it gets you immersed, man. It teaches you mechanics while keeping you in the story. It's great. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this game. I love this game. So, uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, next time things are about to get hectic. But, we've got a better understanding of ourself and our powers, and also these next two missions are piss easy and I won't need the healing touch. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.